The women are changing what the men don't care about. The men mm. would rather a woman change her stinking attitude than put on all that makeup and hair and everything. That's what the men want. But the women will go out there like, oh, I'm going to change this, I'm going to change that. If you look at a man and the man said, yeah, he's fat. The man will most, if he's feeling bad about himself, he wants to make that, he'll go and hit the gym. What's the woman going to do? Go and do, get a BBL, get her lips done, put on her makeup, put on her hair, and stay the big old fat person that she is and say, oh, it's body positivity. The men don't even want that. And that's, the women are not getting all this cosmetic surgery for the men. They're getting it for themselves. I'm sure I worried about some of the men because they must go out with a woman and then when they wake up in the morning they think who the hell is she the scars, by the time you take fish. everything off women need to change their attitude before they change their makeup i'm sure that it, even more than that change your attitude i have got to admit ladies and gentlemen this has got to be by far one of the best videos i've seen in a long long time i think it was probably about a week or so ago a couple of weeks ago uh, I saw a post on uh, YouTube and the post read and I quote ladies remember when you call a man ugly he is not wearing makeup now I'm gonna let y'all sit on that one for a minute I'm gonna let you marinate on it and I'm gonna say it one more time for all my brothers in the nosebleeds ladies remember when you call a man ugly he is not wearing makeup. For those of you who don't pick up what I'm putting down, basically, it's a reminder that to all the young ladies who talk down and talk shit to men about their physical characteristics, you got to understand you're meeting this man in his raw form, right? He doesn't have makeup on, no wigs and weaves, right? <laughs> no BBLs, lip fillers, and all of that shit. You're beating this man in his rawest form, right? Now you got some guys that do all that extra shit. That's literally like 1%, maybe. But that's neither here nor there. What I'm getting at is the simple fact that when you meet the majority of men, you're meeting them in their raw form. So when you call them ugly, remember, y'all have all these things that can make y'all look pretty, right? Just, just remember that. So when I was watching this video... And this lady was going off. Shout out to her. I've seen her on uh, Just Pearly Things uh, interview quite a lot, you know. And she's definitely got fantastic talking points. But if you listen to what she says, women are changing the wrong shit about themselves. Right? As men, we don't care about the BBLs and the lip fillers and all that extra shit. Aesthetically, to some guys, it's appealing and appeasing to the eyes. But in reality, if you still got a shit attitude, not too many people are going to want to mess with you, right? Not too many people are going to want to deal with you. Not too many people are going to entertain you. So you can have all this extra surgery done that nobody really genuinely cares about because all you're doing is making yourself look like somebody else that we've probably seen on TV before. You could do all that. But yet, still, your attitude is still bad. Ain't a lot that a lot of guys gonna wanna do with you. They ain't gonna rock with you like that. So when Baby Girl was going off, right, it dawned on me that women actually believe that if they look a certain type of way, that everything else would be overlooked, right? And probably once upon a time, that would have been true, right? If you had the, you know, fat ass and with all due respect, you know, and you were top heavy or whatever, a lot of guys would overlook a lot of things. And I know this to be true because I did it myself back in the day, right? If you think about it, every guy's probably been through this, right? Dealing with a young lady, she get on your damn nerves. You go talk to your boys and shit. Your boys ask you why you still with her. Man, you seen that ass, bruh? <laughs> she got a fat ass, bruh. Or, you know, maybe the sex is good or whatever. For whatever reason, man, you stay with it, right? And it's usually something that is physically appealing more so than mentally appealing. The reason you choose to stay. So, when we think about it in this essence, ladies and gentlemen, women are out here changing the things that men don't really care about. There are a lot of guys that will probably comment on posts and, 
you know, be sucked into the thirst traps. But then again, we already know what those types of guys are. And those types of guys are not the guys that these women are really looking for in the first place, right? Yes, they like to have the affirmation or the approval of men, right? That's why they post pictures in the first place, for the likes and the comments. They don't really care about who's in the comments or who's in their DMs and stuff like that because they all have an idea of the type of guy that they want anyways, right? So you were just one of many, likely. So they're doing this, in my personal opinion, for the wrong types of guys, right? They're attracting the guys they really don't want. So the inability to change your attitude towards shit, in my personal opinion, would be, like we've said before, and time and time again, one of the main reasons that guys are choosing to date outside of the West, right? That's just it. You want to know the key? You want to know the ingredients? You want to know the keys to success, lady? <sighs> Ladies, excuse me, plural. You got to change, you gotta change your energy, right? We ain't out here trying to deal with that energy no more. The beautiful thing about the Passport Bro movement in general is the fact that I hate to say it this way because it sounds like we're woke, <laughs> but a lot of guys are being awakened or they're awake now. They're understanding, yo, I don't have to deal with this shit no more. I don't. There is light at the end of the tunnel. There is greener pastures probably somewhere for me that I could at least explore and not take the opportunity for. But if y'all keep falling into the same traps, y'all keep falling in the same circles, doing the same shit and expecting different results that comes from both men goes from my guys and my girls you gotta understand you'll find yourself in a situation where you're either gonna be alone if you're a female or you're gonna be miserable and depressed if you're a man sad and lonely as a female if guys are choosing to date abroad because they got tired of it depressed and sad and all that extra shit if you're a man that chooses to continue to be berated as if you are a second class citizen so you do have choices right that's all i'm gonna say i don't want to go into more details the video said it all for me i just had to throw my little two cents on there shout out to just pearly things man i love her content shout out to my brother andrew tate shout out to the young lady who joins pearly because I like her. Because she, she dead ass real. <laughs> I love the accent too. Bro. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's my time, man, for the energy, man. Y'all take care. Y'all stay blessed, man. Dax on to the next one. Peace.